they're already scheduled. Um, so just for follow-up, because did, they did see that he has the irregular heart rhythm, which I'm sure he talked to you about, and you'll have to make a plan for that with probably... No, I haven't talked to them. Oh, he didn't talk to you? Okay. No, he was looking, looking for, for me, and we were in the cafeteria. Oh, got it. Okay, well, what wound up happening is no blockages need to be fixed, so that was fine, but he does have a fib, atrial fibrillation, which I, don't, I guess he didn't know he had no. before. So that is just a, a regular heart rhythm caused by the atrium kind of quivering and not getting a timing signal to the ventricle every time. So that causes an irregular heart rate and the risk of that because there's no real risk inherently of the rhythm, but the risk of that is a possibility of any blood clot that can get sent out and, and pumped into your system and cause a stroke. So. the front seat. What? I was trying to figure out which seat to Watch adjust. Out, watch out, yeah. mm -hmm. Okay, then, uh, the, the, uh, the hand there. You okay? Pardon? Okay, good luck and take care, sir. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Are you okay, sweetheart? Do you yeah, need I'm help? fine. I'm fine. Thank you yeah. so much. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, you want to get it? Go ahead, go ahead, I'll help you. Okay, you'll get it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. You're okay? Okay. <laughs> he will. In follow-up, we'll talk about that, and he probably will see somebody that maybe specializes in heart rhythm. There's cardiologists for that. They're called electrophysiologists. Do you do pacemakers for that? No, that not, not, not that unless, happens? no, not really. They either, either you just need to be on a blood thinner, which that's the next thing I'm going to tell you, or you can get an ablation, um, or and sometimes they can shock you out of it there's different things but a, a pacemaker will be like way down the road like if there was no other you know uh Why intervention that, that would be shorter, he's been short of breath all well that can time. make you short of breath because your heart's irregular and it's not efficiently pumping from the atrium to the ventricle to the body in a in a consistent oxygen carrying pattern so that can make you very short of breath um also um it can weaken the heart muscle which it has um, his heart muscles on on the weak side at about 35 percent, but with fixing that and with medication that muscle can heal up and the function can improve. So that's kind of what they're going to have to you know talk to you about going forward. But as far as for the next couple of days goes, be careful with the wrist. I already talked to him about all this. I just want to tell you guys because in case he's still you know the medication can make you forget the next day. Right, I, I, I think, always do. <laughs> yeah, no lifting, pushing, pulling, nothing heavy or strenuous with the arm or wrist. He can walk around. He can eat whatever he wants. I just told him don't start with something real heavy or spicy. It's probably not good, but little by little, just whatever you want is fine. Um, emergencies to go to the emergency room or to call 911 would be any symptoms of stroke like uh, facial droopings, weakness, slurred speech, um, problems with your gait, you know, um, any new onset of chest pain or um, severe cold, pale, numb, tingling fingers or hand because we did puncture the artery here. Anything like that would be medical emergency. Otherwise, um, he should be pretty well covered and resting and no issues this weekend. I, I wouldn't expect any of that, but we want you to know that if, if it occurs, okay? Um, there's radial site care here for the wrist. He can shower tomorrow, take the bandage off from his knees. <coughs> Sorry. Thank you. Um, take the bandage off after the shower. I put the Coban wrap on it just to get him home and get him settled and everything. He doesn't need to keep that on tonight. There's a clear bandage under that. Just leave that on until tomorrow. Um, you said the one that's on right now that we take off the It's just one of those brown lap kinds yeah, yeah, that, that you sometimes see on an IV when they take an IV out if you go to the lab. Um, just that can come off tonight. I just try to put that as a little like security for people when they're getting in and out of car and getting home and you know, just so it gives a little extra pressure. But once he's settled, he don't need that. Um, there's the information on the sedation. He had a uh, narcotic and a tranquilizer in his IV. So that's why we don't want him driving, drinking alcohol, or staying by himself tonight. Um, 
and and you know be careful just to eat something not super heavy the first time like i said he other was already than that planning what he was going to go to eat when well, he was that's done that's okay <laughs> you can eat what he wants i just you know if it's going to be careful. like a chimichanga with extra this and that it, it, you may he may not be yeah. super happy he, but he said red robin he might feel different that's right okay. now too. yeah yeah you never know and then the rest is just you know everything like oh the meds that i want to tell you about um the meds are um uh, so are you a doctor or a nurse? What? No, I'm his nurse. I was taking care of him in recovery. Okay. He... I put the page. Yeah, the doctor Here it is. didn't find this. Oh, yeah. 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 He probably could have found you if you looked hard enough. But he might have been re ready to go to another hospital. The Aliquis is the blood thinner. He's going to start that and he's going to take it tonight. It's going to be at the Walgreens, oh, okay? Really? Right away. Yeah, tonight. Like, start that tonight. Yeah and then twice a day and then the coreg this is a different beta blocker start that tonight too he's stopping the bistolic which is the nebivalol okay okay everything else we're on his regular schedule okay we didn't give him anything of his normal medicine so do you know where the Walgreens is? It's it probably the one at McKellops. it's whatever one you told him when you came in okay i'm sure he told him McKellops. yeah did you tell him McKellops and Gilbert? Okay. Yeah, if, if it means anything, it's store number 03767. I could always call him and say, is this store number 03767? Okay, so that's it. You can sign for me here and tell me that you also listen. Everything's in the folder, and you can go get the car, and Juliet will help you get him to the door. Okay. Do you want to sit in the front seat or the back seat? Mm -hmm. I already said no alcohol while he's uh, going to eat, right? Well, you're, yeah, you need to just have a nice tea or something today, okay? You will. You're going to go with the, with the teetotaler lunch. <laughs> okay, so you guys have a safe trip home. And any problems, you give us a call, but otherwise have a good weekend. I had atrial fib, so I know a little bit about oh, it. I had go. ablation. <laughs> okay, so, so you're familiar with it. He should wear a CPAP. We'll be twins. <laughs> yeah. CPAP is uh, important to keep that. Right, and he, he uses it faithfully. Good, very good. All right, well, nice to meet you. Take care. Good to recovery. doctor never did find us. We went on past her. Okay.